Hello everyone. Uh, today let's see about how to install XAMPP. Now what is XAMPP? XAMPP is nothing but a server. So why do we use an XAMPP? We use XAMPP for many purposes such as uh, for any server purposes. Okay. Uh, for what type of server purposes so, uh, we use it for PHP files or anything that in that involves that would require the involvement of the system with uh, of the system well uh, with HTML we ne we never had the involvement of a system we only require the files uh, inside the file code to work properly but with uh, but uh, some files or some HTML files also do require a server to communicate with the system. So XAMPP is one such free of cost server that can be used to communicate with the system when when it's on when it's on a web page. Uh, when it's on a when when for example, let's say how how it is going to communicate. It's going to communicate from the web page to the system it's uh, from a web page to the system so XAMPP is in, like in the middle uh, trying to communicate with web page and the system so now let's download the XAMPP file right so here as you can see this link the highlighted one is the XAMPP download page. So, how can you find this page? By a simple search. You can search for XAMPP server download. You will get it in the top of the, the top of the results. File, find, find, all find. And now, let me, I have already downloaded this file and I have it here in my downloads. So, now let me install this. And now we have to tick yes because basically we are accepting uh, that particular application to get installed. Right, and you can see here click OK. Now it says welcome to XAMPP setup wizard. Now click next so now click on the next button right there and here it's it's asking us to select the components required and we we required basically we need a server for communication between the web page or web applications with the computer system Henceforth, uh, here we have a something called server. We, inside the server, we have some other called Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, and Tomcat. We need all those. And here they are asking for programming languages. We need PHP Perl. So basically, here uh, there are some other program uh, programming languages. We need all those. And here, don't change anything with this particular part. And now just click on a next. And now it's asking. To where to install it uh, by default it's showing is going to install in the C drive and under by under the name XAMPP by creating a folder so you can install it anywhere you you want but I'm installing in the default method itself and now I'm going to click next and now and now if you want you can you can subscribe for XAMPP or you can unsubscribe I'm going to unsubscribe right now right now yeah and now I'm going to click next and now it's it's telling it's ready to install now where we are also now we have just click next and it's and in, it's in the process of installation it takes some time
and now it says it's creating some uninstaller when if we reset uninstall we can click on the uninstalled option so it's saying creating uninstaller 75 percent and now we have to wait yeah it said it's completed it's yeah now we have, we have to just click finish and that's it now it's asking do you want to start the control panel now uncheck the box and click finish and now we have successfully installed XAMPP here you can always see XAMPP and see there XAMPP in your all programs that's it and now let's install virtualbox so this is the official page of virtualbox the highlighted one and now uh, and this is uh, and now this is the virtual box platform packages which simply means the virtual boxes uh, distributions for various of operating system it's uh, it has for linux uh, mac os and and windows 2 so now what is virtual box well virtual box is something basically in which you can install another operating system or any operating system of windows mac os or linux in your current in your current operating system your current operation system will be there and there, there therefore you are using a virtual box to use another operating system with uh, which does not disturb the actual host operating system which basically is the pre-installed operating system in your desktop or laptop so um so you, uh, what does the virtual box actually do the virtual box just just negotiate some storage storage for your operating system that, that is going to function through virtual box so virtual box uh there's uh, many other uh operating systems like there are many applications other than virtual box the other thing is virtual vmware we call it as vmware virtual machine where that's the full form so this is a free thing this is a free application and this works as perfectly as vmware vmware is vmware is actually a paid application so so recalling what is virtual box virtual box is nothing but a simple application where you can run multiple multiple os's os at, this, at the same time and it doesn't uh, and it doesn't affect your uh, affect your pre installed system and using a virtual box is not equal to installing a dual boot dual boot and virtual system are not at all interlinked and basically when you're using a virtual box or a virtual machine this that, that is not equal to dual boot you're not booting to operating system basically a virtual box is like uh, is, is like uh let's say in your you have a house house and your house you're building another house but it but it does not affect the original house something like that right so virtual box uh, using virtual box you can install any number of uh, operating system operating system it does not have a limit and basically basically uh, for what for a virtual box to run uh, uh to other other operating system you need an iso file which, which is an image file so we're going to see all those before that let's download it and uh, and as i'm using windows i'm 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 downloading Windows Post and I have already downloaded it here. Now let's install it first. Now, now it's saying welcome to the virtual box setup. Now let's click next. And and this these are the really uh things that i've done they have they have already set up something or uh, they are pre defaultly uh, uh options that i've already checked checked in for you so without doing any changes to these op options here let's click next and it's asking the location 
it's saying it's going to install in C drive in program files under under the Oracle uh, Oracle uh, uh, under Oracle and virtual box fo folders. Well, fine. We have no problem with it. If you want, you can always change by clicking the browse, and now then clicking a wherever you want. For example, let's say here, and then clicking a, creating a folder by this option, create a folder and install it somewhere here, somewhere in. But let me install it here itself. Well, where it went off, virtual. Oracle virtual box. Well, fine. Now click OK and now click next. And it's asking custom set in, in, in the custom set setup. It's asking us, uh, should it create a shortcut menu entries? Yeah, please create. It's asking shortcut on the desktop. Okay, fine. Shortcut in lines, but okay, fine. Digital file associate. Oh, fine. See, even if you if you unset. All the first three options, it's not a problem, but don't uncheck register file associations. Okay, fine. And I'm clicking in all in and clicking next. And it's saying warning and then network inference. Well, fine, it doesn't, uh, but this is general warning, it has nothing to do. It is uh, inserting the software is not a malware or, or any other viruses, or it's not going to decrease your system security now we can proceed with installation click yes we have to install now and click install to begin installation and it's taking time obviously it takes time of well it may take around 15 to 20 minutes for installation Now it's asking, would you like the it like to install this device software? It's asking name of the software is Oracle Universal U uh, Service Bus. Yes, this is very important software. And now check in all this trust software from Oracle Corporation. Check it in. And this is a very important software. You know why? Because this particular software is uh, is used uh, to to identify your USB. Right, when you insert a USB, uh, you, this particular device software is going to recognize that you have inserted a USB and it's going to show on the operating system that in the operating system that is being run in the virtual box. If this, if you click don't install, it's going to and it's going to it's not going to install anyway. And even when even it's not going to affect any process. But when you insert a in USB, it's not going to recognize it's not going to be recognized in the virtual box uh, or in the operating operation system operating system that is being run in the virtual box. It's not going to recognize in that particular operating system or in any operating system run by this virtual box. So, if you want any of the USB drives you insert into your computer to be recognized by operating systems which is being run in the virtual box, uh, for that you have to insert this particular software. So, now let's install this software. So click install. Now it's saying start Oracle. No, we don't like to start it now. Unclick, uncheck it, and click finish. So now we have successfully installed in. See, you can see here virtual box. Now we have successfully installed virtual box and XAMPP server in Windows.